You'll need these. Take a look around the city. Old Villador. Plenty of interesting spots to check out. See the church? That's where the howlers were after us. It's the center of the district. Uh huh. You can find notice boards with missing people around the city. One of them is near the church. Maybe somehow you'll find something about your sister there. And if not, just have fun. The world's already ended, right? How could things get any worse? I'll be back in touch when I've got a handle on things. for a bottle of water yesterday. Things are getting out of here.
Watch where you're going. What a day. No frigging way I can do it. <coughs> What's the problem? Hey, aren't you the pilgrim they wanted to hang? Matt, you were in luck there. I could use some of that luck. I'm Alberto's apprentice. Not for long, probably. It's the third time I'm taking a shot at this test. If I fail again, Craftmaster Alberto's gonna kick me out. Hey, what's a Craftmaster? You're not from around here, right? Craftmasters are people who invent new technology, design innovations, all sorts of gadgets that might help in combat. Alberto's the grand master around here. Like I said, I'm his apprentice. People laugh at him that he's slow and not very eloquent, but he's a real friggin' genius. What? What's this test about? I have to design something useful for the citizens. I already invented underwater sure. reading glasses for Alberto, then a retractable dog leash, but he kept jamming. And besides, we have no dogs here. All my ideas are worthless. Now is my last chance to prove that I am not worthless. So I spent the last several weeks walking around the bazaar and thinking, thinking hard. And then, I hit it. Our goats. They're kept in cages because they eat crops. But life in cages makes them sad, and they give less milk. So I came up with the idea of a fence, energized with just a tiny bit of voltage. That would keep the goats under control, but let them produce more milk. I called this invention the electric fence. Yeah, that's a little rough. Stressed goats can give bitter milk. Seriously? Goats get stressed? Wouldn't you, if someone electrocuted you and then went for your crotch? Oh, no. It's only a very small voltage. Won't do more than tickle them. So, what seems to be the problem with this invention of yours? I'm missing a few parts, and they're not that easy to get. I'm worried I won't be ready on time. Maybe you could help me. If you find them for me, I'll give you one of my super cool inventions. Nothing to do with goats, I hope. Nah. Something much more interesting. You'll see. I just need some electric parts. I'll dismantle them for resistors and other useful things. As far as I know, they could be found in two places. One's an old hardware store on Fitzwilliam Place, near the water tower. Alberto says they'll be there for sure. But it's a dark place, full of turned creatures. You have to go there at night. And the other option? Whatever's left of military patrols. I know of one place south of Horseshoe, near the old electrical substation. Bandits roam in the area, so it's possible there's nothing left there. In which case, you'll have to look for other patrol remains, or take a night trip to the store. <laughs> Looks like you're in luck after all. I have the parts you need on me. Are you serious? That's just fantastic! Heaven must have sent you! Here. I don't know how to thank you. One more thing. Could you help me set up my show? My installation's right outside the main entrance. Turn it on, please. I'll go get Alberto. Wait till he sees it. Meet me by the goat pen, then. Near the wall. My wife was a nurse when this city was still called Villador. She was among the first to go with the THB. I miss her every day. Man, I'm so thirsty. If you have problems, try planting lupins. What about vegetables? There's not enough in that. You have to improve your soil. Everything all right? No. It's grilled. The goat is grilled. I'm such an idiot. B what happened? I must have overcalculated the voltage. See, he's useless. I'm sorry. 
I don't know how I could get it so wrong. I told you it would be a waste of time. Why? I don't think so. This is very, very... It has big, huge... You're saying it has potential. Potential, yes. It could be an effective weapon. A weapon? It's a ready formula. If you just use it on a weapon. It could raise your odds against turned creatures. The brave goat gave its life to science. There's dinner for everyone. And you? I take you as a... Uh, and pronounce you a... Uh, a... Uh, a... a... Uh, craft master? Really? Oh my gosh, thank you. Thank you. We'll talk later. Come, Vincenzo. I can't thank you enough. Here, take this. If it's not strong enough, come round to my craft master workshop. Sure, thanks. Just uh watch yourself out there, okay? No worries, friend. Looking at all the dead people. That says here they're missing. Same difference. They never find them anyway. Yeah, then why the board? It's been 15 years. Many people disappeared back then. My neighbor lost his two kids. But life goes on. Except nobody has the courage to take those photographs down. But it's hopeless. Since there are no night runners, the search always ends the same. Have you heard of kids who were in the GRE tests? Huh. And who wasn't in the tests? The young, the old, the blind, the deaf. Everyone came to find a vaccine. Some for cash. Others to cheat destiny and not get infected. But that was the devil's bargain of Villador. Walled in with the plague, but given the chance to be the ones who gave the cure to the world. Well, the virus won. The study was eventually discontinued. And the children? Officially, no one tested on children. Human rights and other crap. And unofficially? And unofficially. Apparently, some of the kids were taken out of the city. The rest? Well, they just scattered around the city, abandoned. If the infected didn't get them, then hunger or darkness did. Those night runners, tell me about them. What's there to say? Nearly all of them are dead. When they were around, they were the only ones not afraid to go out at night. They rescued those who didn't manage to get to a shelter. But of the entire group, only a few survived, including Frank, their former commander. Once upon a time, he was great. Now, he drinks himself into a stupor at his place in the central loop. Hard to say how much longer he'll be around. When did all this happen? 
a long time ago. Looking at you, you are still a kid yourself. Once upon a time, I came across two of them, two girls. They were five or six years old, and it looked like they hadn't eaten for a month. What were their names? I don't remember. I threw them some old bread and took off because they were shaking as if they were about to turn. Red eyes, swollen veins. I don't know what they were giving them there. Those psychos from the GRE. Where are all these kids at now? After all those years, most of them are probably dead. If someone got luckier and is still wandering around, they would probably be in the Central Loop. More peacekeepers there. Easier to survive. Someone must know more. Why? The past is the past, and there's no point in dredging it back up. Everyone has their own problems. Here and now, Pilgrim. Everyone fights for themselves. killing you and me. You just need to get me some beets, radishes, parsnips. There he is. Grab him, Ed. He's a murderer. What? Julian, Luke's been poisoned. From the water you sold him, Devin says. What? But... I don't sell water. Liar. Luke told me he got it from you. Whatever's in it has him ranting and raving now. You're sure he didn't blame me after he started ranting? I wouldn't call it proof, but he was just trying to rope me into some shady deal. All I need to know. You're done, Julian. Oh, well, wait a minute. Do you have proof? Of course. The water came in a bottle. Luke got that water in one of your bottles. When I tell Carl about this, you'll hang! Bevan, wait! I swear, I don't even sell water, damn it! If you're lying, Julian, you're fucking toast! Wait, so then, if you're not selling water, how'd someone get a hold of one of your bottles? Knowing that shithead Luke, he probably stole it. That would be like him. Even if he did, my water's pure as melted snowflakes. You sure? How do you store it? I buy bottles. There's no way it could become contaminated. Not a chance. My supplier, Marco, always has clean water. So, uh, maybe it's revenge. For what? Everyone loves me. Never had an enemy in my life. Wait a second. Wait. Shit. Except maybe Marco. That bastard. Come to think of it, he's got an axe to grind for me. It was a long time ago. Never mind. Listen. He lives above an old shop on the west end of Villador, on Houndfield Lane. I traded him a few kilos of my finest flour for the water. Prove he poisoned it, and half my flour is yours. Can you do that for me? I guess I could check it out. And there's one more thing. I'm a little embarrassed. Hans might also have a bottle of this water. I thought you weren't selling it. I'm not, except, well, to Hans and... Can you go warn him? He's also on Hanfield, a few buildings down. Something's fishy about this, Julian. Look, you better be telling the truth, otherwise it'll be hard to help you. He's doing anything about it. So 
such a shame. Pilgrim, take my advice. Leave this city before you get trapped here for good. You're a pilgrim, aren't you? That's right. Do you hang people for that, too? Uh, I just wanted to say that I was rooting for you. Uh-huh. Thanks for standing up for me. What? But I, I didn't... Ah, I get it. Sarcasm. Look, it's not that easy to go against the crowd. Sure. I know people are scared of pilgrims sometimes, but... <sighs> Shit. You survived outside the walls. <laughs> that to be some. Say what you want about the PKs, but at least they honor their dead. Hakon. Hey, you're a better climber than one crazy girl I used to know. <laughs> she was something. She even wanted to climb the tallest building in the city. The VNC Tower. <laughs> was she one of your wives? Almost. Too hot-tempered. Even for my tastes. And what about this passage to the center? Right. Look, from this roof you can clearly see the Peacekeeper's base. So the PK run the city? They sure think they do. That's what they need the uniforms and ranks for. They tattoo them. They're fucking obsessed with hierarchy. <laughs> but they don't control the city. At least not all of it. Who controls the rest? The Colonel. The Renegades. Oh, you won't meet them here. For now. So you brought me here to take a look at the Peacekeepers? The PK are your ticket to the center. I told you the only way to get there is through the metro tunnels. I'll go inside and draw their attention away from the platform. Then you enter the Metro Technical Station. There's an airlock there. We'll take it together to the central loop. We can't just ask them to let me through? No chance. Right now, each new face they see belongs to a suspect in their commander's murder. They know me. I trade with them sometimes. I deliver lamps from the girls, or goods from dark zones. There might be a few infected there. Nothing a pilgrim can handle, though. When you get to the main station, let me know. Now you better get some sleep. You'll head out at night, when there's less infected in the tunnels.
quality. Sí. Then take a nap. I can't do it on cue.
God, I got to the flare. Look around. The technical tunnel to the main station should be well lit. I've already lured the guards upstairs. I'll chat them up while you get inside. Yeah. Ugh! 
situation here. Back on. Inside. Five packs. Think about it, and I'll be right back. I'm on the platform. Open the airlock. I'll be there in a second. Damn. Hey, what are you doing here? <laughs> 